Hey there, it's Leslie at Leslie's Cookies and Treats, and today I'm decorating pumpkin cat cookies. But before we get started, I want to let you know I'm teaching an online Halloween Nomi's and Christmas Nomi's cookie decorating class. It's double the fun for the same cost. So you get 10 different cookies, Halloween cookies and Christmas cookies, and there's no experience necessary. You'll learn everything you need to know following step-by-step -step video tutorials. So check out the link in the description. So let's get started with our pumpkin cats. I'm going to take my orange royal icing in a 15 second consistency. I'm just going to outline an oval in the center to make the center of our pumpkin cat. And then I'll flood that in. And then as you always want to do, you want to take your scribe or your toothpick and you want to settle that icing down until it's nice and smooth. And then I should have started with this, but it's okay to do it now. I just want to put a little bit of black where the ears are going to go. And I'm going to take a dampened paintbrush and just paint it on. I don't want this area to have any puff. I just wanted to have some black in the background. And because it's such a thin layer of icing, there's no need to wait for this to dry. So I'm going to go ahead and make two more sections of the pumpkin over on the outside edges. I'm not going to pipe immediately next to that center oval right now. I'm going to give that center oval some time to crust over and dry before I pipe in the section next to it. So again, taking my 15 second orange royal icing, I just went ahead and piped in a section and I'm going to use my scribe to settle this icing down and make sure it's getting all the way down to the cookie. I have a feeling that when you pipe skinny areas of royal icing and you make an outline that the icing tends to stay kind of up on the outline and not sink all the way down to the cookie and that's what causes craters. So use that scribe and get your icing all the way down to the cookie. And now we're going to do the same thing on this other side, and I'm going to speed the video up for this one. And now you want to set your cookie aside to dry until the icing crusts over, usually about 10 minutes, and then we can go in and fill in these intersections. Following the same process and making sure that the icing gets all the way down to the cookie. Use your scribe in an up and down motion to make sure the icing gets all the way in there and to shape it as needed. And then repeat the process for the other side. Now if you get any icing where you don't want it to go, just take a dampened paintbrush and gently wipe it away, being careful not to dent the icing that's next to it because that icing is still wet even though it's crusted over on top. And since our center oval has crusted over on top, we can go ahead and pipe in a small triangle for the nose and two eyes for this cat. And as always, use your scribe to settle the icing down and get it out to the corners of the nose so the edges are nice and sharp. And to settle down any peaks on the eyes just by swirling it around. And then set this pumpkin aside to dry completely. My cookie dried overnight and now I'm just going to take an edible marker and give them a little line for a mouth. And I used my bows and bow tie royal icing transfer sheets to make little bow ties for these cats. The transfer sheet is available on my website www.com l-treats.com and I'll leave a link in the description and I also have a video tutorial on how to make these bows so I'll also leave that link in the description. So you just want to take a little bit of royal icing and put it on the back of the bow and then stick it into place. If any icing peeps out from below just take a dampened paintbrush and wipe it away and this little cute pumpkin cat is done. I think these little pumpkins came out perfectly adorable. What do you think? You're going to want to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you get contacted as soon as the other videos in this cute series drop. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.